Race 5, a final race today at Kempton Park. It's the Kids Club Stays Handicap. Two miles, five funnels. Six runners for me today. Duke of Des Moines, top weight Patrick Ogan. Newest Diamond Craig Beckworth, a jumping bean Pontypool Grayson. Lead all of this distance, and as that, Martin Leiden. Captain Paddy. Uh, come out. What's the one before? Covering the foot seat from Dad to show you the bottom two. And the stars are just two miles five then. A long, long race on the flat. Quid Alexandria would be the tacky for these horses. 98 way down to 95, the Scottish pair. Right down the bottom and the cats for Alex Cherry, Captain Paddy and Covered Auntie Duckford seat. And they go out to 98, the two country moon who's dropping down in class here. Waiting on 98. First time out he finished second and that's probably where he's got his rating from. If he gets beat today, he can well drop a few pounds. And probably that's what Patrick is hoping for. Lead of all is covered on that foot seat past the stands with two miles one film to go, so he'll have another two times around Kempton Park. The covered in footsie leads, two lengths clear from last lap, Martin Leeden's runner. Well enough for waiting and when he was 72, fifth and six on dip on his both his run. So Martin's probably open for a bit of improvement here today. Um, trying to get a win out on the flat. I believe he's not won one yet, so he's verging this season. Duke Manoy is back in third on the inside. Captain Paddy's going around. Okay, the only grey in the race. Trapped by Jumping Bean. Almost the late come out into the stable. Needle Diamond. Oh, I think Jumping Bean entered the into the the yard uh, due to a clash between parents of a certain. Also, I quite liked going to jump in, but he had to be dropped because he had the same parents as something else on the jumps. So I put I put Jumping Bean in on the flight instead. Covenant Footsie leads by two for Duke of Des Moines. And Lazard, Captain Paddy, Jumping Bean, and Neil is time Jumping Bean. I talk about Miles, I know more about Miles than anybody else who's also in the race. He never won a race until he stepped up to two miles four. So I believe he's an extreme horse, and I still have him on my game, so he might make a good jumper yet. A confident Footsie leads by a length and a half from Duke of Drummond in second. There's that on the outside. Then Jumping Bean, Captain Paddy, and Neil's Diamond. They pass the stands with a full circuit in front of them. Then. And the race is down to eat up as they, as they go past the mile marker. And it's still cap covering Footsie right down the bottom of the weight. So a lightweight here, Duke of Drummond, who's top weight. In second, and probably the class also in the race. Jumping Bean moved up. That's that, he's taking, following that through. And then comes Neil's Diamond. And about that is Captain Paddy. Head past the six, and he's been joined up front now, Captain and Pad Footsie by Jumping Bean. He did 90, so he's a long way above him in the weights. More to 100, and he got a covenant footsie by a head from Jumping Bean. Craig Beckwith's Neil's Diamond has moved into food and seems to be going quite well. Martin Leedon's Lazat has been pushed along on the inside. Um, Duke Drummond's not run on yet, and still Captain Paddy's not mad. My Jumping Bean hits a front with just over three left to run. By about the neck in second place, can Covenant Footsie make his lightweight tail? He can't at the moment. Jumping Bean's quick and through to take it up now. That's quickly gone on by two lands. So Covenant Footsie in second. Nearest Diamond is one plugging on. Duke of Jamal's in fourth. Also plugging on. 
inside the final throw he's gone really really clear here on jumping beam he's about four to five lengths still Neil is diamond in second up towards the line it's for extreme distance and this is what this horse really needs but it, Neil diamond is trying to close him down he's not going to chuck he's looking around jumping beam goes on to win very easily in the end from Neil diamond in second does appear to confident footsie and Duke of Drummond the card to go up. The jumping bean will go to the Queen of Clouds, but no doubt about it. Wins well from Neil's Diamond in second. And third with confident Twitsy held on for third. Uh, the Duke of Jamon, Lazat and Captain Paddy. I'll hand you over to Martin who is with the you at Newmarket for the Guineas. <laughs> 